Good morning, people. Welcome to Thursday. Welcome to Thursday. When I meditated on today, tapped into the energy, I feel something that has been promised you is about to come in. It feels like a promise from the universe, like a sign that you have received about something is finally being like activated in the 3D. Something you have known for a long time in the 5D. There could be good news or this could this could be connected with good news when it comes to money, work, finances, the same. Yeah, it has definitely something to do with your skills because I saw this big pentacle. So, spirit, really want you to know that there's something happening when it comes to work, finances, money in general. Okay, we are using the spirit animal oracle. Anything else that I need to talk about? I found my gratitude stone back again. So I'm starting to work with that, which I feel now that I was guided to that. You should find a gratitude stone. If you already have one, work with it these next days. That's who's very important, which we actually got told in a reading previously. All the monthlies are up. Be spirit, sweet results awaits. Well, that is very well fitting. Look at that little bee. Number seven. Seven might be a number that follows you. It might be connected with you. I have birthday on the 7th of October, so I definitely connect with the number seven. Sweet results awaits. There's something about your skills. Something about what you do. Something about what you do. Mm. Let's just see what the book has to offer. Let's see what the book has to offer. What do you want to tell us, book? What do you want to tell us, B? Sweet result. Sweet rewards are on their way. If you are willing to get your ego out of the way and immerse yourself in a connected energy of all things. Ah, you are vibrating and buzzing in harmony. You're connecting with your body, heart and soul. Magical results are taking form and will be sweeter than you expect. And I heard that's why it might have taken a little bit longer because, you know, it's way sweeter than you expect. Way more magical. So, with that, what does the seven have to say? I did just see seven. What does the seven have to say? What does the seven have to say? I did see 725. So, another sign. What does the tarot has to say? Is it because, Spirit, you want me to look at the angel number seven? I told you to get my coffee. <gasps> I think it's kind of cold now. We have the bat with us again. Hmm. The number seven is a spiritual awakening, higher consciousness and inner wisdom. It's a reminder to trust. It's a reminder to listen to your intuition. Trust in the guidance of the universe and take action towards your true calling. So, well, thank you, Spirit. That really needed to come out. Your true calling is connected with a way you can make money. So what is that? What else do we need to know? Dear Spirit, great spirit.
confirmation. You guys know what I say about this. When we speak about something and this one comes out, it's the biggest confirmation of all. Good news. Contracts. Travel. Could be connected with this. Very good news. There might be someone reaching out to you. Contacting you today or the next days. <laughs> There's something about well traveling, it is moving fast, very um yeah, moving forward very fast. No one can stop you. This is a very badass combination to get. It's a very fast energy, so I do feel this is something that's going to come very fast. Could also be something with moving, but things are going to really go your way. Whatever you put out is going to be received in your world in a way better way than you expect. So if there is something you want to do, now is really the time to get it out. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Give me a moment, because suddenly we do have the Seven of Swords reversed, but we also have the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. I do want to know why the Seven of Swords is here. Because I feel it has something to do with your psyche, I heard. And now we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Could there be a test of something from the past coming back to test you? To see if you can see that you deserve better. I did see spirit. Not. Oh, I had the biggest sneezing attack. <laughs> okay. In the combination with the Queen of Pentacles and with the combination with the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands, we did get told to have patience, and I saw twelve, twelve with that. <laughs> well, that's that seven, right? Two plus two. Is four, one, one is two. Oh, that is six, right? Which makes sense because then there is one step to seven. Uh, because what I was about to say, totally zoning out, is that there is like good fortune mixed with delays, and I don't feel like delays, the delays are on you, but it's more like something needs to just again. Fall into place in a natural rhythm. So instead of seeing the delays or something taking taking a little longer, because there is something going very fast, but there might be something that's just like when something goes slow, you might have a tendency to see it as a bad omen or things not happening anyway. And whatever this is might be a slower process than what you want, but. It's going to be so much better than you think. I think that is what spirit wants to get out. Right, spirit? You give us a sign. I do have the little candle flickering. Well, it is that. Again, why do you want the sign if you already got the sign? <laughs> that is the message, people. Beautiful message. So go out there, shine bright. Sweet results are ahead, are awaiting. And I'll see you guys for the weekend reading. I might, if I have time, finally <laughs> do a bigger pile. I have had these these piles ready since January. Not gonna lie, but I haven't felt doing it. And maybe it's connected with today. Maybe. The message couldn't get out before today, before we had the new moon in Leo. I also really want to know what you experienced with the new moon in Leo. Did it, did it affect you in a way or did you just feel calm? Because just feeling calm and happy is actually also a big sign. And I also just want to 
take a moment to once again say thank you all for just being here on my channel for everyone who is always commenting it really means so much it means mo so much for me but also obviously for the videos if you comment if you like thank you for everyone who's patreon because it makes me able to actually do these videos to have more time to create youtube i am going to create something for patreon as well there is guided meditations on there we do have the 21 days of healing and we have 21 days of manifesting on there as well so if you feel a little boost take a look at it but thank you guys i'm gonna leave you so that you can go out there and be a magnificent being and i will see you guys tomorrow